Mayor Eric Adams is set to begin a four-day trip to Mexico, Ecuador, and Colombia. The mayor says he hopes to deter asylum seekers from coming to New York City. Will it work? Reg Meji has more from the Migrant Arrival Center at the Roosevelt Hotel. Uh, lots of people going in there today. I saw the lines earlier this morning. Yeah, and it's very congested over this area, too. We're all parked throughout this area. The media, you can't get really close to anything. But what you can see behind me is that Roosevelt Hotel, one of the intake centers, the intake center here in New York City. Now, the reason the mayor is heading down to South America is basically, like you said, to dispel the rumors that are being said by the local media outlets there. He also wants to get a grounds-on approach to exactly why the migrants are leaving leaving their home countries and how they're doing it. I've always been the person that I need to go on the ground. And he's doing that again with a migrant crisis. In January, Mayor Eric Adams traveled to El Paso, Texas. And today, he is embarking on a four-day trip starting in Mexico, then Ecuador, and Colombia. The goal is, number one, I want to see what's happening uh, in the Darien Gap to see what that flow looks like. The Darien Gap is one of the most dangerous migration routes located in Central America and connects North and South America. It's crawling with criminal gangs, exposing migrants to violence and death. By traveling to where migrants begin their journey, Mayor Adams also wants to give people in those areas the real story of what is happening here in New York City. There's a public relation campaign that people are using in these areas to state that if you come to New York, uh, that you're going to get whatever you need. I want to give them a true picture of what's taking place. And that includes explaining New York City is at capacity. If you enter, you're living in congregate settings and you're not allowed to work immediately. Nearly 123,000 asylum seekers have come through the system since August of last year at a cost projected to be over $12 billion for three years. We know that there's a propaganda machine that, it, that, that basically uh, it has given the false promise of what life is like of being a migrant and asylum seeker. And we want to be honest with those who live in these regions. This trip comes after Mayor Adams filed a motion to suspend the city's right to shelter law. In an application filed in state Supreme Court, lawyers called the city's right to shelter obligation outmoded and cumbersome. New Yorkers are going to start to see visibly that what being out of room means. We are out of room. And the mayor's team says that in the next coming weeks and even months, you'll likely see even more lines outside the Roosevelt Hotel. Now, the Legal Aid Society and the Coalition for the Homeless say that the right to shelter mandate, the suspension of that mandate, could affect the city's poorest residents, including the working class. We're live here in Midtown. Reagan Meji, good day, New York. Guys, back to you. All right, Reagan, thank you so much for the update.